Hey YouTube. Well, the reason why my voice is off is because I've been sick. <laughs> and it came up at the worst possible time. Yeah. Um, I, had, I had a specialist appointment with one of the doctors up in Perth that I've been waiting for for like two months. <laughs> and I get sick right before then, so I have to had to cancel that appointment. Couldn't go to work the last couple of days, much to my annoyance. Some people might say, oh, why? But, you know, like, I'm part of a team, and I like doing what I do. And so when I'm not there, it just feels like I'm letting people down. But obviously that's not the case. It's just um, it's just what happens. You know, you got to do... Yeah, people get sick. I suppose everyone gets sick. Anyway, yep, yeah, so why well, haven't seen much of me? Well, there really hasn't really been much to say, more or less. I um, haven't got any news, haven't got any updates on anything at all. Um, I know that the builders are trying to arrange a time to start working on my house, um, but I don't know, I don't have a date set, so I can't, I can't honestly say I know that for certain I know when that will be. I wish I did, but I, I don't have that knowledge. I, I know I know it will get done soon, that they'll start doing stuff soon, but um, for the time being it's just bureaucracy and waiting, although I think most of the red tape has been cut through. I will say in this process of building a house, yeah, if the government was not throwing so much money at people, and they were throwing a lot of money at people um, to build, obviously to create jobs and stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, I would not have built, no way. I would have just bought pre-established. I would have even been happy to try and buy the house I'm in, but yeah, it's, it was too much money to, to not build. Like it was, I had to do that, so, yeah, um, I suppose it'll, it'll be worth it in the end, but <laughs> I tell you what, oh, like, yeah, a mentor told me, um, it'll feel like you're throwing money down a hole for two years before you go, oh, I'm actually getting somewhere, and it does feel like that, because, you know, like, I'm paying rent here, paying mortgage, <laughs> paying insurance on the mortgage, all that stuff, and you're just like, oh my god, just... Just chucking money down a hole and <laughs> that's it. But it, that's that's life. Um, so yeah, so nothing nothing new to report really. Um, haven't done any work on that Villiers modus. I'm still um, got. A, I've got to modify a petrol tank. That's what I've got to do. Uh, turns out it's not a simple bolt on bolt off job with a petrol tank. Much to my annoyance, I have to re-engineer the wheel again. And I, I would have preferred it just to be a simple bolt-on, bolt-off job, but life is not not going to be easy to me on that one. But because I've been sick, I haven't been able to do anything like that. I just I have to basically try and rest. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Um, what else is new? Oh, uh, for me, um, I'm trying this sleep apnea machine. Um, yeah. I've got to put this because my nose is being blocked I've got to try a different mask um, yeah they're okay I know a lot of people say um, you know, are they, how they to sleep with it they're fine once you get used to it you don't even really think about it being there so yeah it's, it's not really like a like some people might think oh doesn't it annoy your face not really. Once, once you've had it on for a while, it's just like, meh, there it is. And, I mean, I can't really say for certain if I'll get benefit from it yet, because, um, yeah, it, uh, it takes months to get, like, benefit, because, yeah, just the way the machine works, and got to, got to fit, correct what's, what was the, yeah. If you're wondering what I was fiddling with, it was a box of tissues. <laughs> that was it. I was thinking, oh, do I need to open a box of tissues? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> so my nose is blocked again. No surprise. 
yeah. Um, has anything else been happening around here? No, no it's just been stinking hot. Um, that, that's that's it. Stinking hot. Um, went fishing. Fishing season's back on. Fishing season's always summer, so obviously, um, yeah. The best place for me in this area is, is going down to Bustleton Jetty. Uh, I don't know any other spots where you get where you can walk out 1.8 kilometres into the ocean and fish. So you don't need a boat to go into the deeper water. Um, but we don't usually go all the way out. We, you know, try different spots um, on the jetty. So, yeah. But at the moment, there wasn't the fish that we were hoping was going to run. Um, I suppose I can show you one of the fish because it's sitting in the freezer. Um, I haven't actually filleted yet because I've been sick. So, again, another thing that, you know, you just... So, um, the best fish we caught, which I don't know if you can see too well. Of course it's... Oh, there you go. I don't know if you can... Because it's frozen <laughs> and wrapped in glad wrap. Okay. Let's see. So, this is what we call a tailor. Um, I believe it is a, uh, this one is, I was going to say yellowfin tailor, but I don't think it is actually. But it is a tailor. That's what it is. You can see its face. So it's actually a decent sized tail too. That's my arm. Well, I didn't catch this. Well, kind of like, me and my mate, we, he's the one, he's got like some better gear than me, so if he, if we go out and we get some bait fish, we use his rods for catching some of the bigger stuff, because I don't have the gear set up to go after the really big stuff, so, yeah, so, um, you, you need a special reel, really, you need one, one that's called a bait runner, so, what happens is the fish, um, they, when they take your live bait, because you put a live bait out there, um, when they take your live bait, they can run the line, but it doesn't actually move the rod, so your rod doesn't go flying into the water. Um, and also your line doesn't get tangled up, and, like, if you just, you could, in theory, <coughs> um, you could, in theory, like, oh, see, like, this is the best one I've got, that's a pen. That's just a normal bait caster reel. It's just a pen. Um, and that's an ugly stick. And this combo, believe it or not, yeah, it's probably my best one. My other stuff isn't as good as that. But, yeah. The reason why ugly sticks are better is because they're more sensitive. You can feel everything. So, you know, um, you know what you're sort of getting. Um, so that night we caught a lot of snort, a couple of squid, uh, yeah, that tailor was the best thing we got. He ate a whole squid virtually, <laughs> took our squid bait. We're going for snapper, because there was a lot of chop in the water. It was the time of the year when snapper should be running. And, um, yeah, uh, that's, that's about it. Um, yeah, as you can see... Yeah, I haven't really done anything with this at the moment. Uh, haven't, I haven't done anything with the rocket project for a long time. <laughs> I really should, actually. I should do something with this. Yeah, I should do something with that, but... Actually, I don't know if you saw that. There you go. Oh, too fast. Yes, I know, I know my uh, camera work is terrible. You're probably like, oh my God, I'm going to be sick. So I'll leave it at that. Um, it's, there's not really much else um, going on. It's, it's one of those things, I guess. Not everything happens sometimes. Um, sometimes it's a lot of mundane. <laughs> mundane. Mundane is what I meant to say, not mundane. I don't like mundane. <laughs> But, um, yeah. Anyway, I better go. Um, peace.